So then guys, Ryan here back with a banger. Today we're in the Potter, Potter? Pottery City uh, of Stoke-on-Trent. It's famous for its pottery. So we're gonna go around and visit uh, a pottery museum. A bit random, but we're gonna, yeah, see what the city's known for. And then we'll get some, yeah, delicious Afghani food actually afterwards. They've got a lot of sort of Afghan, Pakistani, uh, Kurdish food here as well. So I thought I'd pick one of the three and yeah, we'll go and get some of that shortly. So guys, we've just gone to, well, we just went to the Gladstone Museum, which is really interesting, and surprisingly interesting. Probably like one of the best museums I've been to recently. You do have to pay for it though, it's not free, but I'd highly recommend it if you come to Stoke. But anyway, we've come to the city centre now. I think it's the city centre. I, I can't understand the geography of Stoke, but however, I'm gonna have a walk around and then we're gonna, like I said earlier, go and get some uh, delicious Afghan food. So yeah guys, we just went through the city centre. It was not what I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be a bit run down, but it was actually pretty decent to be honest. Really looking forward to trying some Afghan food. We've had it before, but it's been a while. So I thought, yeah, we'll obviously, yeah, get it in whilst we're here. This place is uh, cash only by the way. So just the heads up, we're gonna probably have to get some money out at some point, but it's all good, you know? The last time we had Afghan food, I think it was in Paris and yeah, it just absolutely bangs. It's like, it, it, it's like a real mix between say, like Persian food and then Indian food. It's like, I mean, it is in the in between both countries, but you can definitely taste like the the difference and the, the, the combination of the two flavors in a way. But yeah, like I was saying, Stoke on Trent's really caught me out, to be honest. I'd heard a lot of bad things about it, and when you see like a lot of like TikToks and Instagram reels, there's like, yeah, don't go to Stoke on Trent. This is what Stoke on Trent looks like. But I think people just showing like the bad side of it. It's not that bad. I've been to much worse places, so I, I think, uh, yeah, people sort of um, overhyping the uh, the fact that it's a bad place. I think it's it's a standard place. I wouldn't call it, it's. Yeah, it does the job. I wouldn't say it's, yeah, it's not terrible, but you know, people have got their points of view. And what's really cool here as well, you can just about see the kitchen from here, but you can see like all, all the, like the mums cooking in the back. And I think that means it's gonna be definitely, yeah, homemade type style food. So that's extra bonus point there. To start off, we've gone for a few different things three main courses. We haven't gone for any starters because the starters to me seemed a bit more leaning towards like Desi starters than actual authentic Afghani food. So I thought we'll go for the, straight for the mains. We'll get a few of them. You could also see, I guess in a way, the Chinese influence as well because like Afghanistan's like, it's like, yeah, it's in between Iran, India, and then, oh no, Iran, Pakistan, and then obviously China. So it's in that like triangle. So like there's a whole fusion of like flavors and ingredients going in there. And then we've also gone for a traditional and I think probably one of the famous dishes, which is a Kabuli rice. So yeah, I think we're gonna have enough enough food to start with. Food has arrived, it looks absolutely insane. And yeah, the prices here are pretty affordable too. I don't know what to start with, to be honest, but they've given us like this massive naan bread. It's like, yeah. It's enormous and it looks delicious too. And also they've brought out like an extra dish which I wasn't expecting. I don't know if it just comes a part of like the mixed grill but it's like a, a bean sort of dish and then there's some spinach as well. Which is, yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. This looks absolutely, yeah, insane as always but it looks really delicious too. I'm pretty happy to be honest. I think I'm gonna start with the mantu. So that's the dumplings. I'm not entirely sure what's in them. I'm assuming meat, but then it comes, it's sort of like on a bed of, I don't know, it looks a bit like a dal, like a, some sort of peas or, I'm not entirely sure. And then it's like some yogurt on top, but they look, yeah, absolutely, absolutely delicious. Mmm, it's really meaty. I think it's minced, minced lamb or minced beef. 
really meaty, a bit spicy, nice and yogurty. And then, yeah, the, the sauce, like the, I don't know if it's chickpea or if it's like a, like a lentil type, type sauce, but it just, it just adds so much value to the, uh, to the dish. All things aside, it's really hard to get bad dumplings wherever they're from in the world. I just find dumplings is like a, yeah, it's guaranteed to be good. I, I need to try some of this, ka this Kabuli bread, Afghani bread, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a nice, nice naan. I'm gonna dip it in some of this, uh, yeah, I think it's the same sauce as what was on the bottom of the dumplings, of the mantu, but it comes with like a meatball in the middle. I, I don't know if this is just part of the meal or if they've given it us extra, but I'm not complaining. I mean, there's there's plenty of food. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, that looks a nice meatball. Mmm. Mmm. There's some sort of um, spice herb in there that's giving it like a distinct flavour. I'm not sure if it's like cardamom or aniseed or something. This, uh, yeah, that is absolutely delicious. Well, that is a, uh, yeah, that, that's a, you know when people say in life, the best things in life are free, that is one of them. Then we got a spinach type dish. Luckily for me, Sabrina doesn't like spinach, so more for me. It looks very similar to the chickpeas, but spinach. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, spinach isn't amazing, this is it's just a vegetable for me. But that spinach, mm, yeah, delicious. Oh, interestingly enough, I found that there's a bit of chicken in this, uh, I don't even know what it's called. Just like a Afghani curry spinach type dish. But yeah, it's a bit like a sag, sag paneer, but without the paneer. Mm, that is insane. Just putting the chicken in has like upgraded it from what was already like very high to like, yeah, just over my head. It's just, well, this is a, definitely a expectations met. And I haven't even, haven't eaten half of the stuff we've got yet. And it's already, yeah, expectations met. And I haven't said that in a while, so you know, this place bangs. Yeah, next we've got the, uh, the Kabuli rice, which is I think the more traditional type rice. It's got, Carrots, rice, bits of meat. I think there's onions as well. I've never had this type of rice before. I think it's very similar to like the rice you get in like Central Asia, like Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, places like that. Yeah, really looking forward to trying this. Mmm. Ooh. And there's a big chunk of meat in there as well. I didn't notice that. But the, the, the meat is just sort of melting your mouth. But the spices are very distinct. They're like, and the spices are very earthy. And with the carrots and the, the onions and yeah, it just all, it just all blends well together. I don't think I've had some, a rice quite like it. I thought I was expecting it to be sort of sweet and sweet and savory, but it's not at all. It's far from that. It's uh, yeah, you need to try it. You need to try it. That's another expectation there as well. Here and that meat just absolutely falls off the bone. It's yeah, extremely tender, and the rice is just—I would say it's a bit buttery, but it's not overly, yeah, overly buttery. It's um, yeah, the perfect balance. But yeah, next I'm gonna well, next finally, we've got the the mixed grill, and they've cooked it in an Afghani style. I don't I don't know what that entails, but obviously you're gonna try a bit of it. But I'm gonna start off with what looks like a uh, like a Sikh. Seat kebab. Yeah, pretty good. N nothing crazy. It's, yeah, it's nice, but it's a standard sort of thing. I think the highlights for me are definitely like the, the Afghani dishes. Yeah, I may be wrong. I've still got some more, because we've got the mixed grill, they've got some more meats to get through first. I think there's a bit of like lamb and then there's some chicken. I think it's got a nice grill on it. I think there's a bit of paprika, maybe. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, the chicken, 
Wow, well, yeah, the chicken's like juicy, got a good flavour to it, and it's, uh, well, that was unexpected actually. I thought I was, the chicken was going to be the, the worst of it, but it's actually, yes, yeah, really decent. Well, next, lastly, we've got a bit of the, uh, I think this is lamb. I'm not entirely sure. It might be just be more chicken, but I'm going to dip it in the sauce this time. So there's like a yogurt sauce and a yogurt sauce and a spicy sauce. So I think they're like chutneys actually, to be fair with you. Because it is, I find this restaurant is Af Afghani, but there's a bit of like an Indian type mix here. But I'm going to dip it in anyway, see if it mingles well. And you know if it's going to mingle, it will jingle. <laughs> Sorry for my bad jokes. But Yeah, I think that's a mint chutney, but it's actually, I don't know whether it's the meat that's spicy, but yeah, it's got a nice bit of heat to it, like in terms of spice, probably some chili powder. But it's chicken, it is, it is chicken again. It's, yeah, again, really tender, really delicious. Yeah, like I said, definitely get the traditional Afghani dishes. Mixed grill's good, but yeah, the other things are definitely, yeah, definitely worth it. And obviously, I mean, one of the pros of getting the mixed grill is they give you the naan. And I mean, like, like I said earlier, this naan is just absolutely, it's like five, four or five times the size of my head. And I've got a big head. And I completely forgot to mention as well, like portion sizes here are, yeah, so big. Like the, the rice, for example, is like, Portion for one person is pretty big, to be honest. I mean, we're sharing everything anyway, but yeah, it's a yeah, really big and decent portion of um, of rice. And like I said, you get this big, yeah, big bony bit of meat in there as well. It's uh, yeah, absolute banger. Absolutely stuffed. But still got to get put in. We've gone for the Afghani custard. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure what it is. I've got a feeling it's going to be like um, <coughs> Mahala beer, which is like a yeah, Middle Eastern type dessert where it's got like rose water in it. I think it's going to be like that, but it might be completely something else. It, des it definitely has that like starchy consistency. But yeah, anyway. It's very simple tasting it's quite nice but i think maybe if it had like rose water or like orange blossom flavor in it it would enhance the flavor but that might not be yeah traditional to afghanistan so yeah i'm gonna eat it as it is it's not bad but definitely had better like i was saying to you guys earlier definitely check out like the afghani main courses they're absolutely banging i had to jump out and get my uh get a cash out and I struggled to find a place but it's so yeah come prepared bring cash with you but yeah guys hopefully you've enjoyed this video that's going to be it for the Stoke tour I will come back at some point because yeah it, it's not too far from ta from Birmingham and yeah it, it wasn't what I was expecting it to be so I'm definitely going to come back find some more food eventually but yeah that's going to cover it for this video guys and I'll catch you on the next one so then